This is the Mizuno Neo Vista. It's a daily trainer designed to handle every type of run. I'm Brandon with Running Shoes Guru. I've run 80 kilometers in the Neo Vista and this is my full review. This is Mizuno's latest super trainer. And you can see that the designers of this shoe were clearly inspired by this shoe, the New Balance SC Trainer V1. They both have a booty construction upper, above 40 millimeters of stack height, and a deep hollowed out central channel underneath the shoe. The main difference between these two super trainers is that the Neo Vista has a much softer ride with far less energy return. It's also got a more flexible plate and forefoot than the New Balance. The Neo Vista is best suited to really relax runs slower than six minutes per kilometer. It provides plenty of plush cushioning when my legs are sore, but this is for runs where I'm not worried about my pace. When I do try to pick up my pace, it feels way too mushy, almost like I'm running on a thin mattress. This is one of the softest running shoes I've tested. And this new Mizuno Foam Energy NXT behaves like the older version of New Balance's fuel cell that didn't have PIVA in it. This is also EVA and it doesn't possess the rebound that PIVA or even TPU has. This midsole compresses very easily, even for a light runner like myself who's only 60 kilograms. The entire outsole is covered in very soft, very flexible rubber, and this makes landings feel very padded. Outsole durability is excellent, and this pair is showing very small signs of wear after 80 kilometers. Traction, however, is not so good on wet surfaces because of how flat and smooth the rubber is. I've got mixed feelings about this knitted upper. On the one hand, it feels really comfortable and has excellent lockdown. But on the other hand, it feels very warm. There's no way to use a runner's knot. And this part where the lace goes inside the shoe, the lace twists and creates a pressure point on my ankle. The fit is true to size, but it's got a very snug fit, which is best suited to narrow feet with low volume. If you have wide feet, you might need to go up a half size. I really enjoyed using the Neo Vista and for a first generation shoe, it feels really polished. Its squishy ride is a real breath of fresh air for Mizuno. So out of context, this is a good running shoe, but the problem is that it doesn't do what Mizuno advertises. It's not a versatile, do it all daily trainer. This shoe can't compete with other super trainers like the SC Trainer, the Kinvara Pro, and the Super Blast because all of those have the ability to pick up the pace. When I try to pick up the pace in this shoe, it just feels too mushy. I think this NRZ NXT foam needs some tweaking because it doesn't provide enough energy return. And I would also prefer a traditional upper instead of a booty because this booty design has some issues. If you've also tried this shoe, let me know if you agree with me that it's too mushy or you disagree and you enjoy this super soft ride. Thanks for watching. You can also read my full written review on Running Shoes Guru.